just like posted it on other sites, I'd like to see it. Hey dude, I've not really played much this season, I'm just getting farmed by face rush hunters. What would you recommend to grind to legend? Try this deck. I think I think Reno really um punishes some of the face decks pretty hard. Hey Mulligan too. Against Warlock, like, this is not a very fast start. I really don't like to keep Reno. But then again, if it's Zoo, it's kind of like, you know, it's the point of the deck. So I think I'll keep it just in case it's Zoo. Against Handlock, I don't need it. Like, this is alright. We have a weapon, we have Emperor. Alright, let me take a look. This is Aggro Freeze Mage, right? Aggro Freeze Mage. Uh, we'll just... Where's uh, where's the mention about the... Oh, sorry, you're... So it's not my it's not my deck list, right? Okay. So you're just posting about the freeze mage one. Yeah. I think LBYS has been doing pretty well with that. Hey Yin Yin, how's it going? I love watching opponents use all the resources to get my health really low just to have me reno it. Yeah, this is such a good feeling. Such a good feeling to see them waste their time at the beginning of the game. Alright, that's cute. That's pretty cute. So do we want to set up the death spite yet? I think not. I'd rather save the death bite for after after I see stuff like Imp Gang Boss, um, or because he's not gonna play Implosion here. I don't need to have the death rattle ready. I just want to kind of start cleaning up the board. All right, so this looks like it's probably uh, Malagos. I'll go ahead hit this now. This way that the the Belcher will just trade for it, and I want to play Emperor the following turn, especially because I have Ysera in hand. Getting Ysera down as soon as possible against uh, any kind of handlock variant is really is really important. You try, but I always seem to miss the first three four turns, even after Reno turn six healing from HP died. Yeah, it's hard. To, you want to make sure you have some early game play. If you don't have any play, like you don't have weapons or you don't have your early drops, then it, it's still hard. Like you can't. Reno is not gonna all of a sudden like give you board control. You want to have board control. It's just it's just more to punish people who kind of ignore board control and just go face. That's that's really where Reno where Reno comes in. And to punish those people who are just smorking and not not caring about the board. Yeah, good evening you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Was fine. So we already got the we already got one discount, which is good enough. And uh, we can we're basically trying to fight for board control here. So I think that uh, Doctor Boom does the best job at that because most likely if Boombots can take care of the one health things, and it's a seven seven on board. It'll bait out BGH possibly, um, which is what we want to do at some point. We want to bait out BGH before we have to play Deathwing. Hey Akatsu, how's it going? Happy Thanksgiving. Gold Shire Footman, new meta. I mean, it's from uh, it's from the Peddler. That was a pretty efficient board clear. But yeah, like we're not worried about health total here. Got the Reno. Witcher win rate versus Handlock. I don't have it specifically broken down by. Um, by like types, I only have I only have it by class because I'm just using deck tracker, so it won't it won't tell me like yeah handlock versus whatever. And it's kind of annoying that uh, a lot of warlocks are running siphon again. It was so much easier when they didn't run they didn't run uh, siphon. But a lot of them are Reno variants, so they do run that. All right, so looking at the stats, um, basically we're 70% win rate total overall. Um, against Warlock, it's like 55%. Nothing too stellar.
think we go ahead and hit this. And I'm not sure about the Drake. I think we just leave it up for now. Because we have, like, unless he can burst us down, unless he has some kind of arcane golem PO build, uh, we're pretty safe here. Hey, Sang Gnome, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Loch Ness Monsters. You know how to work tomorrow? Awesome! Nice, Yen. Okay, so if it's, um... If it's Malagos, we definitely want to make sure we're at full health. So we're, we're definitely clearing this guy. And I guess at this point we should execute the... Should execute the Twilight Drake. Just so we don't... We don't have to worry about the additional 4 damage here. Go ahead and Reno. Fifty-five against Warlock. No separate stats for Zena, Zoo and Hanlock. Uh, I don't have it at the moment. Right now, I just have it um, by class. So that's with like eleven games. So eleven games, fifty-five percent. We have a hundred percent win rate against Warriors with eight games. A uh, hundred percent win rate against Priest. That's three games. We're actually doing very well against Paladin, but again, I said Secret Paladin is a bad matchup, but then there's a lot of mid-range Paladins too. But against Paladins overall, we're like 72% win rate against Paladins, 66% against um, his Mage. Uh, whoa, Timta, donated $10. Happy Thanksgiving, Lock and Chat. I hope you all have a great holiday ahead. Aw, thanks Timta. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the donation. Hope you have a thanks happy Thanksgiving as well. Alright, I think we slam this, and actually I think this deck doesn't actually run any BGH targets, so we'll go ahead and um, task BGH this. Pretty sure it doesn't run BGH targets. Why not Dream Reno? It's it's fine, I don't really need to Dream Reno. Because I think if he's, gonna, if he's gonna burst, he's gonna have lethal burst. So it's not like he needs to... Um, he's going to like partially burst this down and then we can Reno. I don't think that I don't think that'd be the case. How are we doing? Eight cards. Uh, maybe I'll get the Iron Dragonaut on board. I'm a little bit worried because I don't have any actual answer. Like even if if he decides to drop Malagos here, uh, that might be a problem because we don't have a removal for Malagos. I hate it when somebody, when somebody say that you suck when you are just doing daily tasks and playing around when my skill is better than theirs. Oh, sorry to hear that, Ikatsu. Wait, Soda, you're 35-6 with it? 35-6 with what? With uh, Reno Warrior? That is, that is pretty insane if that's your win rate. Dream Juggernaut. Yeah, 69 viewer hype. Um, I like I still want to say dream. I could, I could dream Juggernaut whenever. Like, it kind of sucks. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Juggernaut MVP. That's what I'm talking about. Sudoku. You took out all the draw mechanics of this deck. Well, there's still um. There's still Harrison and Slam for a card draw. <laughs> that's pretty funny. See, that's why like having Juggernaut is like Sylvanas would never do something like that. Ten ranks, always BM. Top ten hype. How successful successful has Brand been? Do you like the current list more than the original one you posted? Yes, I I really love this current list. Like I was very I was very pretty happy with my old list. Um. Like, it, it was performing well, but then, recently I kind of started seeing a drop, uh, like... I used to, I used to really enjoy f fighting against mid-range pally, but I felt like with the, with the list I had was like... I didn't really need that much card cycle, I just needed more like, oomph, or just like, power to the deck. Which, having the brand Iron Dragonaut really helps with that, and... Like, it just, it's just bigger, it's just having more minions too. Like, having brand, death lord... And Juggernaut versus like Acolyte, it's not very strong body, and then Shield Block, which does nothing to the board. Uh, top ten, congrats. Thanks, guys. That's a that's a pretty funny, <laughs> pretty funny.
pretty funny lethal there. Do you have any 2-ups? No, no 2-ups in this deck. And hey DWB, 